Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of this um, Imladris. Imladris? What did I say? I, I saw something here that reminded me of Imladris. This is the Woodland Realm campaign. It's Thranduil, actually, that we have. So, should be sending more troops, and that's exactly what I'm going to send. I'm going to lose some money with that. But I'll also win a little bit more reinforcements there at the front. Yep, that is cool. So right now what I want to do is finish up this and kill some other dudes. So, yep, I think this is an army that I can fight. Hopefully so. I'm getting tired of having problems with um, the armies that I'm using. And I'm having a lot of fights because of this invasion. If the invasion wasn't called against me, I would already have finished Dol, um, Dol Guldur and moving on into the Black Gates with the ring. So, it's interesting, but and I wish it hadn't ha gone like this. I'm just gonna station these guys here and these guys on the back. Hopefully no crashes. So, this guy... Then these guys, then this guy and this. There we go. That's how I want to defend. You guys can move here. Yeah, so no skirmish, please. Let's start up the battle. Of course, these guys are going to start by firing. I think he just might try to move in. If he does so, then I'm just going to move these guys here. Come on. Actually, move fast. Fast forward. And hopefully that will be enough. Right? It isn't. Okay, so I'm just going to move forward as fast as I can. That should be enough. To lure them to attack. I have enough firepower here? I think I have. Okay, now these guys are attacking, so our men all start to attack. And the initial unit that is going to be attacked is the Muller, so that's pretty fine. There we go. They're all under attack, so yeah, that's sh that should do it. We're not clearing everything. So I don't mind. These guys just clean this up very easily. There's nothing that he has that can kill me. Like, I'm even clearing Morikut Hunters and other units because I'm pretty sure that nothing that reaches me, nothing here can reach me. I mean, they're all getting very low as they approach me. I've already killed 30% without even suffering anything. And these guys are going to start having some issues with the... These guys are shaken for whatever reason, I don't know why. But yeah, there's nothing here that can reach me, honestly. Javelins should cause them to rout. At one point, I say. Yeah, there we go. As soon as one of these units start routing, the others should follow. Hunters of unwavering and such, but if they start firing, then they're going to lose because these guys are going to start being attacked. There we go. Some are attacking this Orc Mauler. That Orc Mauler that was. There we go. Can move here to their flanks. Lost like 8%. It's fine. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. There we go. Let's move here. They should should continue to fire on these guys. They're now routing, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna let them attack. Just because it's faster and you know, they don't have that many missiles. Uh, 
And I kind of want to see how, how that works. Like these Mercot Hunters, they're not really causing too many casualties. Like one here and all. There we go. Killing the Orc Raiders now. Hundred and forty eight, hundred and thirty, hundred and twenty nine. Yeah. They cause one and another, but you know, my archers are enough to kill all of those. Nineteen ninety, yeah, that's all that they have left. I don't know what it's that, but I'm gonna pursue those guys. That's enough those. Yeah, the archers are doing the damage. I lost only 1%, so I guess that it's fine. No one is attacking these guys, so I could attack them without losing any units there. There we go. Clear that up. Good. I don't want to lose any horsemen to, due to my own archer fire. So I still have some archers firing, it's cool. As soon as they stop auto-firing, I'll be doing this easily. Yeah, this guy stopped auto-firing. There we go. I think the whole army disbands after this. Yeah, he's gonna hit this Merkwood Hunter and kill it. There we go. This is a clear victory. Clear victory. Killed 1,900 and suffered 1% 1 of that. 19 guys. It's always nice. Okay, so let's see this. Set up an ambush. Execute. I'm gonna go for that captain and then Dornar Hawk. This guy's gonna go here. Note that I won't have too much money. I can grow some more troops and stuff. But we'll see. This guy is the one that is gonna attack here. Now that's a 10 star general actually. With very nobles. But most of his forces are just these very horse archers. If I focus fire on wind riders then yeah I'm pretty sure of, of this battle you can focus fire my generals will focus fire his general and that's it so we should be fine clearing this army I've already cleared two of their major armies so yep yeah. I think as soon as I clear a couple of these invasions the invasion they consider the invasion failed yes so Right now, the biggest threat that we have is that he does have lots of generals, right? So I'm just going to put these guys... I know that they are going to usually attack me. So I just want these guys, like, in three lines. So that I can cover them easily, you know? There we go. There we go. Now that's a lot of cavalry, so... No skirmish and everyone has that, that's cool. He's moving in, okay, that's, that's good to see, I guess. Yeah, he's not attacking, which means that I can actually do this. I can go to one flank and hit his flank, basically. Let's go, times six. Biggest problem is that I have to face everyone with archers. And really what I want is for him to strike me a little bit. Okay, my men are already attacking. 
Which is nice, they're attacking Candish Cavalry. Okay, that is cool. Do I have anyone that can reach those Faring Nobles? I do not. That's a 10 star general, I gotta remember that. That's why it's gonna be a problem there. Because those Wind Riders, yeah, those guys can cause trouble. He's just going to surround me, that's for sure, with all those Wind Riders. So here's what I can do. Hang on a second, let me just pause because there's a lot of actions to do here and I don't... I'm not the computer. There we go, these guys are the ones hitting that. These guys are going to hit the Wind Riders. Cannot hit those. Marauders are fine. No man horsemen. There we go. There we go. Wind Riders. Okay, that is nice. Let's then attack those very nobles. There we go. Let's attack those Wind Riders. Actually, we need to hit those. Not that my Dale Cavalry is going to be completely destroyed. So let's go for that. These Hinidawar, I need to move them here. They're going to get crushed there. These Elbereth Gods were crushed there. That's not good. There we go. Crush those units. Okay, he's trying to push forward with that. Yeah, these wind riders gotta do that. Come on, cavalry. Oh, okay, he got lost. I don't know what's happening here on these very nobles, but they're dying. That's decent. Yeah, more wind riders getting killed. Can push these guys here. Let's attack those Varig Nobles. If I can finish that up, it's pretty fine. Yeah, some more Wind Riders getting killed. I don't know how their Nomad Horsemen are withstanding, but I have yet to lose anything. Too significant, I mean. I've lost 20% actually, it's amazing. Okay, I'm trying to hit those very nobles, but I'm not able to do so perfectly, so... Yeah, I know that these guys can withstand very easily, but these sentinels are gonna get trashed there. Yeah, he totally cursed me there. There we go. Yeah, everyone that has an archer, or there is an archer, has to hit that fiery nobles. I'm killing most of them, you know. But I've lost so many. Oh, interesting attack here. He sniped some of my Hindi Tower. It's not good. But still a good dude. Idea. I knew that the the, va the wind riders would be the the trouble here, but still. Okay, just clear this guy up.
How's everything here? Very well done. Come on, finish the guy up. How are the very nobles? There we go. There we go. Actually, let's just hit the Katish Hunters because everyone else is a waste of uh, attack. There we go. Over here is perfectly fine. These very horse archers are doing nothing to the front line. And there's no one else. My god, I'm losing so many. Good enemy general dead. Most of the enemies start flying. We're fleeing away. I guess I should have more units here, but I'll give the units that are around, I would say. Okay, so most of my archers should start firing at will. Let's kill those Kanish hunters and those uh, other units. I'm not seeing any men getting destroyed or anything. So that is easy. I don't know how many men I'm actually going to get back, but we'll see about that. Yep. This is a clear victory. So I didn't get too many men. Some casualties healed up on the Hini Towers. Well, it's not bad. I'll have my reinforcements very soon. So it's, you know, I'm not happy losing my best troops, but still have plenty of units here to go. As long as they're not sending huge enemy armies uh, in on my way. Or on my way. No. Let's execute that. That is uh, the end of it. I think there's like two more invasions that I have spotted. And I'm looking forward to just advancing with these troops, so you know. Yeah. So this guy, let me merge. And what do you need? You certainly need uh, infantry troops there. So how many men? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, my lord. My lord. Five units that I can give him. One, two, three. Four, five. These are the best ones. So there you go. I'm gonna go to Zakala to defend. It's not enough there. Still should be. This guy should be enough to push. There's another Variag unit with some Ketrafects and some Brotherhood of the Bow. As long as some nobles. That's an easier one unit to, or army to fly, to fight against. Are they going to be able to reach there? I don't know. Then we have this. This is a very easy unit to, or army to destroy. I'm going to have the problem though with the money, or some problems with the money. We'll see about that. For now, I'm actually going to push with these guys over to Darnar Hack, so that should be fine. Yep, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!